I want to talk about pooping with prolapse because this is something that people ask me all the time in my private practice. Well, I'm a little either have a hard time doing it because I have prolapse. It's a lot of downward pressure. Um, and if there's any, if there is a rectocele where the rectum is pushing into the back wall of the vagina, sometimes it's harder for that stool to come out because it's kind of sitting in a pouch um, and it's harder to actually evacuate that stool. But also if somebody has um, a cystocele, which is where the bladder is pushing into the front wall of the vagina, they might be scared of pooping, scared of pooping and adding more downward pressure during that activity, right? So here's the little chicken. When you go to poop, there is, you know, the stool has to um, evacuate and come out. And so there has to be a little bit of downward pressure that is going on. And during that um, activity or movement of the stool downward, even if you have a cystocele um, and the bladder, you might feel like that downward pressure is not the most comfortable for you. So how can you reduce the pressure when you're pooping? Um, a few tips. Number one, you can work on the consistency of your stool. We don't want just like loose watery diarrhea because that's hard to hold in, but you want a softer stool that comes out more smoothly versus pellets. So making sure you're staying very well hydrated, um, also eating enough fiber in your diet so that the consistency of your stool is softer. And it might not just be adding things in, but it might also be taking foods out that cause constipation or harder stools for you. And that can be different um, for every person. So some things that are like the most common um, allergens for people. So it might make your stool, and for some people it makes it looser and some it makes it more firm, but Dairy and gluten are two of the higher food allergens for people, um, but also like some starchy foods can cause more of a, um, a harder stool. The other thing is going to the bathroom when you first feel your urge. If you're holding your stool in for an extended amount of time because you don't want to go in a public bathroom, um, the longer the stool stays in your rectum, the more water that gets pulled out of the stool so it's more firm. And then the next time you're ready to actually go and you sit down to poop, then it might not um, be as soft and easy to come out. Um, another thing is the way you sit on the toilet. If you're hovering over the toilet and you're afraid of actually sitting on it, it is harder to relax and open your pelvic floor to allow the stool to come out, okay? Because you're using your muscles to hold you up. So you have to use all your muscles to hold you up, but then also let go of the pelvic floor, right? So here's the pelvis. Imagine you're using like your glutes and your hips and your thigh muscles, and usually there's some pelvic floor activity there too if you're in a hover position. But so you have to hover, but then you have to relax these muscles at the base of your pelvis to poop. So sitting all the way on a toilet can be very helpful. Now, if you do have a rectocele where the rectum is pushing into the back wall of the vagina, it can sometimes be helpful to rock forward and back. That forward position is not always the best for everybody. Maybe sitting a little bit back on the toilet is better for you. So trying different positions, trying a squatty potty or a stool under your feet, that might be helpful for you, okay? Especially if you have a high toilet, just helps open up the pelvic floor to allow the stool to come out. Um, and then lastly, breathing. So when you sit on the toilet, you know, instead of sitting down and being like, ur, ur, and like straining to go, have you considered 
sitting on the toilet, taking a moment and doing a few breaths. I know this sounds a little silly, but your breath taps into your nervous system and your nervous system does play a part in your pooping, right? If we're, I know people say I'm scared shitless, but like, honestly, if you're scared, you normally would either like freeze or tighten everything up and flee, run, right? Um, and so there's that sphincter law. If you're like sitting on the toilet and somebody else fire, you're going to like close everything up and run out the door and get to safety. That is not the prime time to poop. So breathing and taking a few breaths and relaxing prior to pooping allows your body to recognize you're in a safe place at the right time to actually poop. The stool might then move closer towards the anus, kind of knock on the door. So then the stool can come out easily instead of having to like really push at it and force it to come out, which puts more pressure on the pelvic floor. So there are your pooping with prolap tips for the day. Give them a try. Let me know how that goes for you.